it's John Wanoa here. I just uh, did my test today on Thursday, the 8th of June 2017, for the um, British UK elections in Westminster. And this is what I came out with. It selected UKIP 71% based on the manifestos, my best match uh, as. Uh, the candidate for Britain, UKIP. It wasn't Theresa May, but I'm um, picking it. It will be Theresa May, but this is my choice from the selection results I've just done. And so I'll paste it onto Facebook. And uh, there we go. That's what it looks like at the present time with um, um, Conservatives ahead and uh, you kept, uh, that's my choice of winning the elections on what I've selected as uh, my choice. So let's push the Facebook button to set it up there and it's gone there onto Facebook. I'll write about it afterwards, but it's gone onto my Facebook site and I've put that there as my choice on 38 degrees to respond to uh, them sending me emails all the time right through the elections and every other matter that's going on. So there's the letter to me from um, uh, 38 degrees, um, David Babs. 11.44pm uh, last night so I've managed to read everything on the elections to know what's going on in Britain and answer those questions okay so um, if we go back to here then that's where I've turned out with 71% of the UKIP policies I've chosen in the questionnaire so you can do a questionnaire yourself online and that will give you an idea of who you should pick. That's a good way of doing it. I reckon that's an excellent way of voting. But I'm not so sure about the missing um, voting papers that have gone somewhere and not to the right place. Um, so um, these are all the posts. I always put posts all the way through and um, things that I'm interested in, in politics. Um, so uh, uh, very, very graphic when it comes to what's going on in the world I'm keeping an eye on. Uh, so that's my take on things. Um, going pretty well haywire in um, Britain, ISIS nutcase put there by the Kabali Freemasons Mafia. And that's what I think what's going on there. This guy's put there by the Freemasons running the world court. I'm just explaining to the chiefs, um, Bundy Waitai, about that. So, um, just to give you what I do every day, I, I make, um, rash statements about who's running rife, these guys running um, havoc right through the world because it's the money that's making them do that and you'll see the faces are white, they're not real Arabs, they're not the real deal, they are uh, mischievous and um, you see what I'm posting, these sort of things, this is the worst that ever gets to the next generation of children being made into hell by um, the Muslims and um, <coughs> things being kept honest and that's where we're coming from being honest um, with what we do as transparent uh, there's the latest video I put on to Bundy last night Paramount Chiefs to Theresa May 
British Navy military flag. That's the flag in the background with me there on these videos. I put these videos together as citations and fact evidence to support our visit to see the Prime Minister of Britain and uh, if it's Theresa May, which I think it will be, uh, then she's got a margin of uh, winning um, uh, on the slimmest of margins maybe um, because of what the fall in popularity of her politics. That's why when I filled out the questionnaire it came out with UKIP who should have been running Westminster. Ideally what I think and in reality it will be the other way around. The, the, Theresa May will keep going as being transparent but I think she'll have a new leaf turned over and if she takes our advice that will be there uh, in the government to have a big clean out with the flag that we hold as the Admiralty and Magistrate Court uh, in Westminster to make a clean break of it. Uh, there you see Maori having no luck with their parties and um, fighting against a system that's corrupted in New Zealand. Uh, so um, these are news items I put onto my site and they're very crucial on what happens in America under Queen Elizabeth II and it's all looking bad. Everything she touches is bad. And that's what we're going there for, to clean out the corruption in Westminster and start again. Um, postal votes go missing, see? That's what I'm putting up there because I'm watching the corruption going on with the Queen running the place. And Donald Trump, um, <coughs> as you can see, the white faces of uh, shame and corruption and fraud, that's why they are um, bowling each other over and it's come to blows that they're fighting against each other and this guy wants to go and kill all the white people uh, with uh, Hillary Clinton and there's money missing, see? Now, the climate change is a hoax, there's no such thing, it's just made up to make money out of with our flag. Um, <clears throat> There's the letter I sent off to um, 10 Downing Street yesterday and you can see um, I've written it in brief to fit their email straight to um, straight to 10 Downing Street and there it is, the letter there. I'll read it, I'll read it to you. Dear Theresa May, first I'd like to congratulate you on a campaign that is a winner. I'm very confident in your outstanding performance as a true Prime Minister to do business with. We are an existing commercial trading bank business partner with your King William IV British Royal Navy Lord of the Sea successor, Sir Philip Jones, and you Prime Minister. I note as at the 1st of May 2017, you are the first Lord of the Treasury and Minister for the Civil Service. Our four New Zealand Paramount Chiefs hold King William IV 1834 Admiralty flag legally attached to your Magistrate Court as Trading Bank Commercial Landowner Partners. Wish to visit you in 10 Downing Street, 20th of July 2017, our barrister and me. Sincerely, John Kakiwano, native New Zealand Native Court Sheriff. So there it is. The second one there didn't go through, so we've got that one there. Gone through. I'll be writing to the um, Chief of Navy, uh, First Lord of the Sea, uh, Sir Philip Jones today, and also to the Royal Court uh, that's um, in Brussels, and also to the Plymouth Court, uh, Magistrate Court in Plymouth, England to um, set up a meeting with these Paramount Chiefs, your partner, your legal partner, with our flag, that flag in the background you see there. Theresa May, First Lord of the Treasury, meet New Zealand Paramount Chiefs. So I've put that video there to Theresa May, who I'm predicting will be the Prime Minister, and um, with a new 
clear run. Uh, if we're there, we keep things honest with this flag. This is your flag of a king, and the chiefs are coming with that flag that the king gave us the jurisdiction of Admiralty financial court martial law to rein in the pirates with it. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Um, I'm posting these um, here, these videos that are citations, like I say, of our evidence in the court, in the Magistrate Court, Trafalgar Square, um, Buckingham Palace, <coughs> in England, London. So I'll be um, setting that up, Bundy, White I call London Trip, Paramount Chief's whole title over New Zealand. So we're saying to the British establishment that we are the original, native, commercial, private contract landowners of this country, New Zealand. I have all the documents online as a writ warrant to seize the country of New Zealand back into the custody of the King's Bench Court Moai Crown private company with you, Theresa May, and your government. Um, so you can see uh, that we are promoting the British uh, elections this way on our sites, one of 80 Facebook sites, and on, on our Twitter and on our YouTube videos. There's over um, 1,070 videos um, promoting our partnership uh, in the Admiralty Magistrate Court. Um, so there you are when our election results your ultimate hour by hour guide to polling night. So I'm encouraging uh, the vote from this angle on our websites and also with 38 Degrees um, who have um, prodded me for quite some time in the years uh, to get involved. Uh, we will we'll be involved there because I'm coming there as resident with British passports and our flag. Our flag has the authority as a British citizen as default that's the flag in the background behind me there. Um, King William the Fourth, King William the Third's flag of Admiralty um, Magistrate Court. Uh, so um, down we go. I'm just making a run through with this so that you can see uh, the voting intentions here and what I do and posting all my comments about who's fraudulent and who's there for the benefit of the people and what policies are ruining Britain. <coughs> and it certainly looks like um, Britain is being ruined by a bunch of elite people who are looking after their own private investment interests. <coughs> We're there to rein them in. My Crown, 7th of June, 2017, 38 degrees. Georgie Leming, article. So there we go. We're just making a response to you, Georgie. Thank you for the um, the honour uh, there. Um, um, myself there. Uh, it's been credible enough to put into your media. The effect of the use your vote campaign in the UK general election 2017, a study by Professor Peter John, University College in London, and John Wanoa. So I'm saying when I get there with the chiefs this time, hopefully on the um, 16th of um, July, uh, we'll be going straight into Westminster and apply ourselves and the flag here, you see into the politics to make a world difference. We are a world organisation that has been dormant for a number of years, 183 years to be exact, and a few months, <coughs> two months to the day we turn up in Britain. 
So what I'm saying is 38 degrees, when we get our budgets together here, we will contract you to uh, promote our uh, Moai King William Party. The Moai King William the Fourth Party. I'll just put that up so that you can see on one of the 80 sites um, the Moai King William Party. So you've got the British, British Dual Party there, Dual Government, that's what we're running at the moment. The Moai Crown Federal State British Dual Government, that's what we're setting up with the <coughs> Chiefs. There's our seal there, look. That's King William on his horse and his Admiralty ship in the background behind him, okay? That appears on my hat, which is that there, okay, it's the sheriff, it's right there, the horse and the ship and his crown on the top and the eight point star that the wrong bloodlines are wearing, Queen and Prince Philip and Prince Charles and others in the royal family and the, um, they're wearing the eight point star that's their wrong bloodlines to it, okay? In the William, King William the Third of Orange, which is our partner, that's our partner. And so you've got the Moai crown there, the statue, and King William's Admiralty flag there, and the Moai flag there of the pyramids in Egypt as our partner, our DNA to Africa, to the Moriori Manukau title and us the Tahitian chiefs that are coming to see you. There's our flag of King William IV and the eight point stars in the four corners of the earth and the blue sea of Admiralty. This four corner cross is for the four kings, King George III and his three sons King William the Fourth, King George the Fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the First. That's that four kings cross, and this is the eight kings cross of King George the First, Second, Third, Fourth, Fifth, Sixth, King William the Fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the First. Okay, that's the eight kings of this big flag cross. Okay, the Vatican has got a hold of that because of King William III in Brussels um, as being Dutch and Zealand, New Zealand as being Dutch title that we hold in the world court, his land. Um, there we're going to see the, um, the court itself with our um, magistrate, native magistrate court judge, um, judges, uh, these paramount chiefs. There'll be four of us going, myself, the sheriff and creditor of the bank, the Moai Powerhouse Bank, that I'll show you right now. I might as well show you some of the detail of who we are online as being credible and um, have the facts. These sites have been online for a long time and so uh, we are... Um, making sure, oh, it's, it's slow to change, um, just got to make sure, I might have to restart again, I think I can do that, I'll just show you every other bit before I change it and, and uh, restart it, because I've got, you know, it's, it's slow down, the, the thing is terrible, the reception where we are here is terrible, so what I'll do is I'll just knock it out and start again. Um, it's a nuisance because I've got new computers under here, two of them, one, two, a bit untidy but that's the way I am, and um, uh, two new Lenovo's and we're operating this one and I'm going to connect those ones to go faster. Haven't been connected yet. So we'll go to, um, back to Facebook. I want to show you the sites that we are on. Um, 
first of all I'll just show you the YouTube sites and uh, other sites I'll make use of this video to show you who we are um, there's the YouTube um, there's, I'll just go to this one here last night and uh, we are quite mixed up in a lot of the royal um, royal sites that's Bundy speaking to me I, I, I make these videos of them speaking to make it fixed lock to them uh, reality that we are real people and not made up so we're being accountable for who we are so that we're transparent when we go to Britain you already know who we are when we get there so there's no guessing what we do while that's going I'll just go back here that's um, Sonia in Chandigarh Chandigarh um, we'll go there one day and see her. Um, that's we've just seen that one. Um, there's the company we have, the political party with Matt Taylor in Britain. He's already been with the flag to Buckingham Palace and Westminster and been promoting the Maui King William Party. So we are joined up with him and his SOS Independent Party and we'll be going straight into Westminster with him uh, from there on. There we are with our flags, the Moai flag with the statue there with the crown on his head and the pyramid and obelisks that belong to the black African Nubians and Sun Ra and the constellation stars, the three stars are in there as well and um, the brown marae, uh, native grand jury trial magistrate court. That's that right through the world. 250 countries, that's that part. And this is the 250 countries man's law. This is the spirit law, L-O-R-E, deeds of truth. And this one is man's law. Um, L-A-W, uh, commerce and money, gold and all this. And there's our eight-point star in the corners of the Admiralty Blue Sea of Admiralty, Magistrate Court, black line around the Red Cross to keep Satan out and protectorate from the British military. That's that black line running around this Red Cross. Our protectorate and our business between us and Britain, UK. Okay, I, I might have had the video too low there. I'll just show you that black line again. Right here, there's a black line running around the cross. That's the British Navy Military Magistrate Court. Okay, the four corners of the earth. Four corners of the earth with the eight point star of St. Patrick's Order. And this red cross is representing us as well in St. Mary's Church. 1831 birth certificates in Tiki Tiki East Coast on Maui land blocks. This Maui statue is standing in Queen Elizabeth Great Court in London. That's our native Tahitian royal family title. That's my Wānoa Maui family in Rapanui to Mokonui on the East Coast, Tepito on the East Coast on the Haha -ha blocks and uh, Marangaro land blocks, the Rahui Marae and the St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki, Rangitukia, 1831 title right there. Okay, you get that? So that's the Maui King William Party. That's the political side of why we're going to Britain, UK, to put that party together after the elections and um, when we get there to join you to the Pacific Islands, the whole of the Pacific um, discovery title um, to us. Now that's Iru Manukau, that's Mohi Temati Manukau, the fourth paramount chief, um, 
in Tilawakato Farahere Here Manukau in Scotland, Edinburgh, the Manukau Company, and that was his father, Mohi Manukau, who worked with me on these titles and the land um, land transfer uh, in Scotland to New Zealand. And that's uh, Prince Peter of Malta holding our flag up right there in the Malta Templars. There's 20 of these flags I sent to um, these two in Malta with Mohi Manukau. That was back in there, 2008 for the New World Order and the World Court and King William III of Orange and Brussels um, and King William IV. Connections to us, the native, Muriori, Manukau, and to Prince Peter, Malta, and <coughs> the Queen's um, side of the royal family at that time. But well, that's on the 1835 side, it is on. We're on the 1834 side, that's hidden. Okay, so <coughs> the chiefs I've chosen are doing the 1834 contract. And this is held up as an 1835 Declaration of Independence side of the contract with Queen Victoria. Okay, <coughs> just to separate the two, uh, King Itaurua is on the Queen Victoria side and King Edward line. So we'll be addressing him on that side um, in Britain, separated from the 1834 this flag and um, those um, chiefs that I've um, appointed um, to go there, <coughs> to go there, to claim <coughs> the 1834 King William III, King William IV, St. Patrick's and <coughs> Order of Church and the St. Mary's Church uh, birth certificate titles <coughs> under this flag. Manahi um, Parapara Mohini will be looking after the birth certificate side of the St. Mary's Church in Tikitiki, where he's from, with me on our land blocks, with um, Rabata Ka <coughs> and the Reverend Ka and Reverend Puanua on the Rahui Marae in Tikitiki, and that's St. Mary's Church birth, deaths and marriages certificates at 1831, while on the other hand, Mohi Manukau has his family birth certificates online that you can see at 1830. So between those two, we have that title to this commerce tied up um, direct into the banks there to seize the Bank of England with these Moriori titles and the Maui titles and birth certificates. Okay, so um, Monday will be looking after the Cook Islands titles and Manahi will be looking after the Moriori titles uh, that well, he put in place in Scotland, um, Edinburgh. <coughs> the Freemasons on that side, I'll be talking to the Freemasons, uh, myself and the Pakia side, the um, English side um, and Scottish side of my family, uh, the Rogans and also the Cosgroves lawyer sides, um, to go into this federal state government under the 1834 de Declaration of War flag, the flip side of this Declaration of Independence side, Iru is promoting with Prince Peter of Malta. Okay, so that gives you an idea. Um, <coughs> agenda for the Waitangi Marae 1835 Declaration of Independence flag event to the 28th of October. See, 20th of October this year, this New Zealand government is stealing this day to promote the flag and the New Zealand wars. And they've left out on their history, on the curriculum for uh, education, they've left out the wars in uh, Waikato under the Manukau. See, they won't talk about the Manukau. It's a taboo area, so they're only going under the Ngāti Hine up in the uh, Ngāpui area history of wars. No, they go near the Manukau war and they'll, they'll come up against a block brick um, wall uh, with what I'm going to drop in front of them online, okay, as Mohi's uh, take on what the Crown did to his family 
and forth. <clears throat> so um, on and on it goes. Um, so we'll go to the uh, Maui. Um, hang on. Um, I, we've got um, the gold shares here as being the commercial side of our business under this flag. It's the Moai Tidal Energy Gold Shares. So you've got all that we are recovering uh, with that title and so on. The missing goal and all sorts of things. Uh, so we'll just go back to um, hard being left hand jurisdiction. I'm just showing you a couple of um, sites. See, this is the this is the um, this is the um, King William the Fourth Admiralty flag in that Admiralty building in um, London, Trafalgar Square, the Admiralty building, where we're going to put our history together with this flag of um, a sovereign monarch um, of King William. <clears throat> and the other flags here that we promote in our business with you, our partners. <clears throat> so on and on it goes. And there's our big title there, where a lot of information has been put together with the world upside down. See, that's the right way out. We are, we are at the top, and Britain is at the bottom of the globe. There, see, the upside down. That's the right way up. It was it was drawn that way um, in the old days, and the universities professors turned it up the other way, and they're trying to spin it over. That's what the fracking and everything's for. The frequencies, the heart machine, is to spin the earth over. That's what they're trying to do. Not going to work. I'll tell you now, God won't let them do it. Um, I'll just show you a couple of other ones. Um, flag jurisdiction. Oh, no, that's all. That's enough. I'll just go back to the politics of where I just left off. So there we go. Um, my predictions was for UKIP. There. <coughs> my, my quiz. When I filled the quiz out there, um, on the policies, I came out with uh, UKIP being the forefront of... I've always gone for Nigel Farage as being the best spokesman out in Britain. And um, if he keeps going the way he is, then it'll work out perfect. But he's up against the elites, which is her, Theresa May is holding up the elites until we get there to make them honest. And so that's, uh, that's going to happen. So I think that's enough I said. And uh, we shall just uh, go into our normal day. And I'll just put this video over here to finish off. Hi, John here. Thank you for watching um, our videos. Uh, we must be at uh, 1,075 now, or going on to 1,080 videos. Uh, just um, education on what we are about to do, to go to Britain uh, to claim our rightful place on the Magistrate Court as on the King's Bench side. And um, we are, uh, are there to um, nominate King Ernest Augustus V, or his son, if he abdicates to his son, Prince Regent, Ernest Augustus, in to be King of Britain, UK, to take the fraudulent Queen out and shut down the Trust, the Queen Victoria Trust, and start off with the Moai Crown, King William IV Trust. Uh, and that's going back to square one. And more for the people than all the corruption and fraud and war that's been caused through this flag abuse. So that's what we are there for, to rid the abuse of the Admiralty martial law that's been used even in 
Philippines for reasons that it's not supposed to be used for war. It was there to prevent war. So that's all I want to say uh, now before the video runs out. And uh, just to um, Kingi Tauru, um, um, I've decided that we will keep the 1835 Declaration of Independence of the flag on one side, Queen Victoria's side, Queen King Edward Lyon's side of the equation in a state government here to fix up the government here with yourself, Kingi, and Sue Nakora. I have full support for you uh, to run your own government. However, that's fine. But on the other side, the native side, we have the federal state government, similar to the United States federal state. This is a federal state government flag on one side and your state government with the Queen on the other side. King on one side, federal state, and Queen on the other side, state. state. Federal state, Commonwealth government of the world, we're setting up in Auckland on the old provincial Auckland title. We're going back to square one, where the title started from, after Kororareka was blown up by the British Navy and military and shifted to Aoroa Native Court from the Aoroa, from the Okiato Native Court in Russell, okay, um, Kororareka, Bay of Islands, down to Aoroa Native Court in Helensville, where the Manukau Rogan titles were put together in the Magistrate Court there. The courthouse is there on the 10 acre block. So I have all the titles we're claiming back, starting from that point. That's when the government in Britain kicked off the game to set up Auckland from Helensville. And the Auckland titles were the Manukau titles that we were claiming back on Cook Street. And the government here tampered with our information and history and Whakapapa and the British private contract with this flag. They tampered and interfered with our contract, and that's the offence. That's going against the government of Wellington and the Panama Papers and TPT, all the rest of those contracts are now the responsibility of Sunakura and Kingi Taurua on that Queen Victoria side to settle on their pathways. They can speak on Titi Marae on that pathway under that confederation of chiefs title, Glass Murray and all the rest of them. On the other side of the federal state government of the world, the Commonwealth countries of the world, that's a British title that we're doing here at Bundy. <coughs> you, um, Manahi, Parapara Mohini, and Hiriwini um, Kraka will look after that with my crew. I have um, the British partners in Britain running the Maui Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company and also the Maui Powerhouse Bank and the Maui King William Party, the political party, we're going straight into Westminster's all set up online. I just put on this video to show you a little bit of that. And Matt Taylor and um, um, Jackie Little Gordon in um, um, Aberdeenshire, Scotland. So they're just a couple of hours away from Edinburgh. We'll be setting up the office there. Uh, for the land titles of the Maui, the, Ma the Manukau Company, registered company that set the titles up for New Zealand, the whole of New Zealand, Pacific Islands and the whole world from there. That's the business that I'm running, um, Bundy. So 
where you come in is to look after the flag and the 12 chiefs up in Ngāpui side of the contract on the land. In the meantime, all the commerce is in Auckland. On Cornwall Park, that's where Mahi wanted the parliament set up, the Commonwealth, the Maui Crown, Federal State, Commonwealth Government of the World set up there, straight to Britain. Okay, that's our private business between two parties and no one else. No one else is still there with this bag. So make sure, Bundy, I think you've got it, that the 1835 people stay in that jurisdiction of the Declaration of Independence mixed up with the Titiri, Titiriti of Waitangi, 1840. That's their problem in the debtor side. They're the levy side of the debt there and they remain there to pass you the bill for all the damage done in your area up there. Uh, I'll leave that up to uh, us in the federal state government here is just the New Zealand one, not the world one. I'm running the world one from Britain with the British government. <coughs> I'm standing there with that to go around the world with this flag. So the flag has got one twenty one two hundred and fiftieth value here in New Zealand of the commerce that's been created by the kings. By the kings. You hear what I say? The kings. King George the Third, the father of King William the Fourth, King Ernest Augustus the First, and King William the Fourth. Okay, those three kings, and also um, <coughs> um, King William the Third, and Saint Mary's Church, and Saint Patrick's Church in Belfast. That's on my Irish side of the family. The Cosgroves in Belfast, Ulster, Ulster, New Zealand, Ulster, Belfast, and down Patrick Village. There's gravesite there for St. Patrick. I'm going there <coughs> outside of the uh, federal state government as being private issues with Ireland. Okay, so. Um, we will, we will ready ourselves to go next month and I will um, write to the um, World Court today, World Court, Magistrate Court, and also write to the British Navy to um, tell them um, we want to come and see them with all our documents here. Um, Bundy, all the legal documents signed through the years on that TT Morai, on the incorporation side, the Declaration of Independence 1835 side, and the 1834 side has just been recent, that one. Okay, so you stood in a tent, and that's what matters. But Bruce Joyce was there as well. He was there to witness, so I think he has some part to play. He bothered to turn up. That's a plus for him from Waitaha, so he gets a plug from me uh, being there to witness this uh, event. It's a legacy. It is down in history now. Your voices are down in history as being citations, fact evidence for the court over there. We're going there armed with everything online, on the laptop, in the court, straight into the judge from us sitting there in the court. Private session. Bundy, it's all in order. Nothing to be alarmed about because the big man up there is watching. The Moai is watching over us. Okay. And Manahi is um, uh, very good at the Karakia side, well, both of you, and uh, Hiruini. And Hiruini, um, we just hope that he can go. I think if he fell asleep and gave him a bottle of whiskey, he'll be right on the flight from here to London.
and wake up as if he's in Kaikohe and walk into the building. So I think a doctor there will keep him right and keep us right as well because there's a lot of pressure on me uh, just thinking about all these things to pass. Uh, a big load from Mohi Manukau, um, Paramount, to me, to you, Paramount. You're older than me, takes precedent over the land. But when it comes to the bank and the transactions and the legal documents, that's my business with the banks and the land transfers and legal authority. Um, then the seals and the documents are stamped, sealed, fixed online as being evidence to the public of the world, of who we are. That's ongoing for a long, long time. 2008, I've been on Facebook um, pushing this issue right from back before 2008 with Mohi Manukau and um, the titles of the Freemasons and the way they do land and property possessions, birth certificates, all the certificates that makes up money under the Admiralty Magistrate Court. Okay, so I think that's all for now. So I'll carry on with the work and bid you a nice day before this video runs out. Bye for now.